it's me Adele and welcome to my channel Sew for Serenity where I talk to you about my sewing journey. Welcome back if you're a regular viewer and if you're new here I hope you enjoy this vlog and consider subscribing. So welcome to this week's Friday Sews where I talk to you about what I've been doing in the world of sewing this week and let you know what my plans are for the week ahead. So let's get on. So this week I've managed to get some things made up this week so I'm excited to show you but first of all let me just talk to you about where I was at the weekend. So I was going to Becky's from what Beck Sews Sewing Social which I hadn't been to for a couple of months because for a couple of reasons it wasn't on and um, so it was really lovely to get back there and see all the lovely ladies that I'd missed very very much um, and yeah I decided to take with me um, a play suit which I talked about in my last vlog and it was the peppermint magazine play suit that I wanted to uh, do a wearable twirl of you can kind of see it here so I'll talk to you about that in a minute um but first of all let me just talk about what I picked up there so when I was there Becky had bought these new earrings from her jazz and wow shop that she'd been trying it uh, been um making prototypes of and they're gorgeous kind of um i would say retro 70s style flowers and they perfectly matched my nails so yeah isn't it great when you've got a friend that designs earrings to match your nails and um, so yeah i picked these up i love them and <clears throat> i'm not sure if they're in becky's shop now because i know she's getting ready to go on holiday and stuff but message her and she'll let you know then they might be coming out as i said i went to that sewing social and i took with me the peppermint magazine play suit that i was dying to make after i saw rachel wearing a stunning one that she'd made a while back and i took i think i'd cut everything out <clears throat> i think i cut everything out ready to take with me and i managed to find some gorgeous liberty fabric that i had some scraps of in my um stash that i used as the lining so now this isn't quite finished yet and i haven't got any photos of me wearing it but i've made most of it up i've just got to put the pockets on and the reason why i haven't finished it was i just wasn't sure where to put the pockets so i've been playing around with that but i've got to say this is peppermint magazine play suit is by in the folds and i'm a big fan of in the folds i love their patterns um really really simple instructions really clever construction and yeah i just really really love it now this has got as i said it's got a lining in it which is lovely it's got tie straps and it's also got a zip an invisible zip now it is invisible but the problem is i didn't have a navy zip so it's kind of not invisible <laughs> um but yeah i'm very happy with my invisible zip how it went in the lining's lovely and I'm really, really happy with it. It's a lovely little play suit. Now, I did size down because I was wanting to make this for my holiday. Um, so it does fit me um, well, but it isn't as oversized as I would like it. Um, I will get that finished up this week and take photographs of it to show you. But I made it in this lovely viscose linen slub, which I'm a big fan of. And I just need to hem it, as I said. So hem it put a label in and just pop the pockets on is all I've got left to do. And the label that I'm going to put in it is this label from what Vicky made that says sewing, sewers sewing. Let me just open it. Oh, lovely, lovely. So as you can see, it says oh, sewers sewing. And I think that's going to go perfectly there. What do we think? Love it. So yeah, I cannot recommend this pattern enough. I think it's really, really good. And uh, I would also say as well, if you did size, if I'd chosen the size that would fit me now for the oversized nature that I like, you probably wouldn't need the zip in it either. Um, but yeah, you'd need to check the sizing first. But yeah, I could probably... If I made this in the next size up, I could probably get this on without the zip, I would say. Um, so that's something to, to bear in mind. But yeah, I'm in, I'm in love with it. Love it. And who would have thought it? Me in a plane. So I also took with me to the Sewing Social a Sirocco that I'd started making in a lovely jersey that I got. Um, now, I'm a big fan of the Sirocco by Deer and Doe. Made a couple of them in the past. However, they are when I was a bit smaller, so they don't fit me now. So I was keen to make another one. So I printed off all the pattern, sized up, 
and I even made a sway back adjustment because I know now from making a lot of things that in order to get the um the cleavage right I need to um do a sway back otherwise it sits too low down so I did all that and unfortunately it fitted me perfectly on the bottom but was too big on top around the bust area and now I usually do you know me I usually do persevere and get the fit right but there's just so much to do in this I was it was probably about two sizes too big in the bust area it fit me all perfectly around the back but it was just too big here um and it was gonna it was gonna be too much of an adjustment so I thought you know what I know Becky is very similar size to me but has much bigger boobs than me I'm much more flat chested um and I knew this would suit her so well, but I know she shy, shied away from the pattern um, because she was conscious about the stomach area, which I know she shared before, but she loves um, a knitting waist. And I just know how flattering and how good I I feel in my Sirocco's. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna take it with me, see if Becky wants it um, or if it fits Becky and if she likes it, etc. Anyway, she tried it on and it looked wonderful. She looked really, really lovely in it. And needless to say, she had it. Now I hadn't hemmed it and I hadn't put the, the one sleeve on. So she took it away and finished it off. And if you check over on her Instagram, I'll try and find a picture and put it in. Um, she's wearing it there and she looks lovely in it. And even though it's like darker colours, I think it still suits her because um, of the mix of colours in it. So I think I see a lot more Sirocco's in her um, future. And I know now that I just need to size down on the top part and grade to the waist which in hindsight i think that's what i did with my smaller versions but i just forgot anyway so yeah so that was um a sewing fail that turned into a sewing win for someone else <laughs> so the last thing we did at the sewing social was go to the wonderful aladdin's clave fabric shop that um becky has near her sewing social and i did pick up some fabrics and the first fabric was one i had been looking for i've been looking for some white rotary on glaze because i want to recreate a look that i've seen in tesco's which i'll talk to you about in a second um but i've been looking online and the, and the rotary on glaze that i've been looking at there's some that was reasonable but so the ones that i really liked were like 17 pounds a meter which is obviously quite a lot and the look that I want to recreate, I'm not sure if I've got a picture of it, but it's a short set and a um, little cropped blouse, uh, collared blouse, which in a broderie on glaze, which I had in Tesco's, which I really, really liked. But they didn't have my size. And also I'd be good buying it if I know I can make it myself. So I wanted to get three, I think I got three and a half metres of this broderie on glaze and it was um, nine pound a metre. But this is it. And it's really gorgeous. And I just love that bottom bit there. And I think as a hem for some shorts would look gorgeous. So yeah, I've got um, three metres of that at nine pound a metre. And um, I'll try and put a photograph of, of something similar. Or if I have got a photograph of the actual thing, I'll put it in. But yeah, I picked that up, which I was very happy with. So that is going in my stash for my holiday makes. And then they had some really nice linens, which were like three pound a meter. So I got two one meter um, cuts of this to make some shorts. Got a gorgeous burnt orange. And this lovely lilac color, which is not normally my color, but me and Becky both got some of this because we really liked it. But I thought it'd be a really nice pair of shorts as well so we've got that one and actually those colors look really nice together don't they i think they do anyway and then the final fabric that i got is really not normally my cup of tea but i i just kept looking at it and i really liked it and it was a big silky panel um and i just feel like it would make a gorgeous kind of caftan and it's i'm going to hold it up so at the very very bottom it's got at the very very bottom it's got like these beautiful like sequiny things at the bottom and then then it just goes normal it just has the pattern and then it goes into this red effect and then at the top it's got a little bit more sparkle so i just thought that would be a really cool um 
fabric to make a caftan of something for faffing around the pool in um so yeah i got the rest of what was on the roll there i can't actually remember how much this was um but yeah i just really really liked that i thought the colors were really gorgeous and very very bright and contrasting which i know is what my kind of look is so yeah i got that as well so those will be coming soon in my summer plans summer holiday wardrobe plans video which i keep threatening to put out there <laughs> okay so moving on to my other mate that i've made yes i've made something else this week now i have been thinking about making these shorts for quite a long time and they are a tasuti pattern i've had it for ages called the esther shorts and these are the shorts that i'm thinking of using to recreate the look in the broderie on glaze okay but i wanted to twirl them first and um the main reason i wanted to twirl them is because they're not elasticated waists they're a waistband with a button they come in size 6 to 16 and i wanted to give them a twirl and i had this fabric that becky gave me um ages ago she had a little off cut left about a meter and a bit left over of this lady McElroy. uh it's like a water oh, i don't know if it's a is it, it looks like a water lily flower but not sure but yes so really really like that so i decided to make the shorts in this now i made the size 16 um and actually i think i could already size down because they are quite roomy in the waist area um, so the esther shorts are described as a classic butterfly short pattern features back darts a narrow waist a flattering side seam that sits forward from the hips towards the front the shorts are finished with a side invisible zip out and one button it's perfect for all sewing levels and it's a super quick make now i was dubious i'll just show you the line drawings beautiful now i was dubious because i thought hang on a minute there's an invisible zip that's not going to be quick <laughs> but when i put the invisible zip into the play suit I was actually really impressed with what a good job I did of it. And I think I'm getting much better at invisible zips. And I thought, why not? Let's give it a go. So I can confirm it is a very, very quick make. And um, I'm going to stand up and show you now. Let's let me move this out of the way. So these are, excuse, I'll get my belly out to show you. But let me just move this back. Do the little step to stand on. So just balancing on a box at the moment but they're a bit creased because i've just been sat in them but you can see they are a little bit big on me here um but to be honest with you obviously i'm menopausal so it's nice to have that room there and they still fit really nice and flush and i like to have quite a lot of room about around the leg but yeah they're really really lovely and look how great the invisible zip is can i just show you this look at that so impressed with my invisible zip and it does it does up without any problems a bit peeved off with the button hole the button hole went wrong as, as always um worked perfectly on the scrap fabric and then as always didn't work on the, <laughs> the first time i did it so i had to unpick it but yeah i just love those shorts i think they're really gorgeous um so yeah i think i could probably take a little bit out i probably could size down to the 14 but I'm very, very happy with those and they're super gorgeous. Really like them. And the darts are the darts are in the back there. And then yeah, quite just the, the side seams come forward a little bit. I think I could probably take a bit in actually because they're probably not as forward as they are on the on the picture. So yeah, I could probably definitely take some more out of there. What do you think? Esther shorts, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Now, so I as a wearable twirl, I'm really, really happy with these. And I think I'm definitely going to go on to cut out my broderie on glaze in them. Um, I'm going to probably um, give it a couple more weeks. Um, I need to, um, on my weight loss journey, um, I got weighed this morning. I've lost another pound and a half. So really happy with that. I um, just need to find the right pattern for the top now. Um, yeah, I'm thinking Gilbert shirt, but not 100% sure. And I've not made that, so I probably need to twirl that as well. Uh, but yeah, I can see a lot more shorts in my future. And yeah, I'm really happy that I'm getting better in invisible zips.
Okay, I think that's it for what I've made this week. The plans for next week are to finish off my play suit, which I've just dropped on the floor. But yeah, finish that play suit off. And then I'm really, really, really want to make the new Fabric Godmother pattern. The Fleur. I don't know if anyone's seen it, but basically Fove, who was on the sewing bee, she posted a picture where she'd been gifted the pattern and she'd made it in a gorgeous, um, I think a linen viscose with fruits, uh, oranges all over it. And it's very much like the dupe of the Ga Gani shirt. I'm probably saying that wrong. Um, but yeah, absolutely loved it. And it's really up my street. So I think they're doing a shirt and a, a blouse of it. And I definitely really want to make that. I haven't thought about what fabric I'm going to make it in yet, but that is definitely on my list now i think that's out this weekend so i'm pretty much 99 percent sure i'm gonna buy that get it printed out and make it up this week so watch this space for that i've also got some fabric coming from so confident which i'm excited to show you um for my next make but that's a little bit of a secret at the moment um so when that comes next week i'll share my plans with you around what i'm going to be doing for that and then finally i hope to have it here already but it's not been delivered yet the beyond the pink door box is going to be delivered today according to the postman so i'm looking forward to receiving that and seeing what beautiful treats are in store for another me. thing that i just wanted to say is thank you for all the lovely words of kind congratulations that you all gave me for um my promotion uh, means a lot and yes thank you it does feel like everything's going quite well this year very very happy about that um and then we're excited to start my new job don't start till the first of july though so that's got a little bit of breathing space um and i also want to say thank you for the lady that get uh um lady that contributed to my Kofi account it's very much appreciated thank you very much and um, that will be going on a super chai latte this weekend as a treat for losing a pound and a half at swimming world <laughs> okay right I'm going to leave it there I hope you enjoyed this vlog if you don't subscribe already please consider subscribing it doesn't cost you a penny if you've liked it please click the like button and if you want to support my channel further as I say you can buy me a, a Kofi through my Kofi account right then I'll see you all soon happy sewing bye